Good morning everyone and happy January. Happy January 7th. Today is my first day back at school. Yay. And it's my last semester ever if I pass my classes. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to be done with school and just work. But yeah, it's my last semester. So this is my last first day of school. So today I have a pretty chill day. I have class from 2.30 to 5.30. So basically this semester, I have two classes. One is a class on Thursdays from 2.30 to 5.30. And then my other one is an internship in the community, which is Mondays and Wednesdays. I go to our community health center, which is like close to me. And I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'll find out today, probably. Um, but today is kind of like the introductory class to that class basically so it's from 2 30 to 5 30 which is really nice really chill get a nice um sleep in a nice chill day for our first day back and then tomorrow i have off tuesdays i have off so what do i have to do this morning i don't know lay in bed and do nothing no that's not true i have to do some dishes i want to do a load of laundry i meal prepped a bit yesterday so i don't have to do any of that i don't know I think this morning's gonna be kind of a chill. They have some emails to do. Um, I have to send in some videos. Let's get this day started with coffee, of course. Let's go get some coffee. Every morning he sits here and just waits for me to get up to get him some food. Don't you, pumpkin? Yeah. You just wait for mama to get you some food. Yes, you do. Okay, come on. Let's go. Come on. Here he comes. Okay, come on. All right, welcome to my very dirty kitchen. Actually, just this here that's dirty. Otherwise, we're good. Let me open the blinds. Ooh, it's cold outside. All right, so very tragic moment in my life. For the first time in so long, I was craving iced coffee this morning, and then I realized I have no ice. So that's not happening. So I'm going to have to settle for hot coffee, which is not the end of the world. It's still good, but I was really craving iced coffee. So following that saga of iced coffee, I'm going to show you guys how I make the best latte slash hot coffee with frothed milk with frothy milk frothed milk how do you say that hot coffee with frothed milk i think you say ever all right let's do it all right so the first thing you want to do is add some milk duh i believe you can froth like almond milk and stuff i haven't tried it but i usually use the high fat milk um which is what we have around here so i have this amazingly cute cup that says let it snow if i got it for like a dollar fifty a maxi amazing so i'm just gonna add some milk not too much just like a little bit like a sixth of a cup then i'm gonna pop it in the microwave for like 45 seconds and i'll see you guys after all right next i'm gonna use this frother that i got on amazon it's the simple taste frother it looks like this and i'm gonna froth the milk Yay. i wish you guys here i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like All right, the next step is to add coffee. I, I use my Keurig for this and I don't buy K-Cups. I have these reusable K-Cups. I've shown you guys these so many times. And then I have my tub of coffee here. So I'm just gonna add like three little spoonfuls of coffee in here. Tap, tap. Then I'm gonna bring my mug like that. Open this, take that out. Pop this in and then I do medium like that. And then the last step, since I can't add like sugar in the actual coffee because I do the milk first, I always sprinkle a little bit of sugar. Whoa, that was way too much. A little bit of sugar on top so that when you drink it, the milk kind of like crusts. I know it sounds disgusting, but it is so good. So there you have it, guys. My amazing cup of coffee. Now let's enjoy. And now these cats are ready for their food. No, they don't want the coffee. I'm about to give them the breakfast, so you guys don't want to see that. It's disgusting. I also really quickly wanted to show you guys some of the meal prep I did yesterday because you guys always ask if I meal prep. So sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I usually don't, but my boyfriend is doing keto now. He's on this keto grind and he meal prepped whole bunch of meals that you guys saw my instagram story yesterday so i kind of got brought onto the train with him does that even make sense probably not um but i meal prepped a couple of things because i know i have kind of a busy week not really but on top of school i'm working nights this week wednesday thursday friday saturday so 
kind of a busy week. So I made a couple meals. So let me really quickly show you guys. All right, so what did I make? I made the salad here. It's cucumber, pepper, chickpeas, and tomatoes. So I have two of those ready to go. Then I cooked a chicken breast um, on my panini maker, which is amazing. And then I just shredded it and I can put it in like salads or just like eat it like this. And then I just cooked some hard boiled eggs. I used to have six, but my boyfriend ate two. And then he made these little egg, bacon, and cheese things for his breakfast. And then he left me three because he wasn't going to eat all of them. So I have a couple of those for breakfast. Actually, maybe I'll have one of these for breakfast this morning. Or some bacon. I don't know. See, the bad thing about your significant other or someone in your family doing keto but not you is that there's so much fatty foods available. But since I'm still eating carbs, I can't afford to eat a bunch of fatty foods even though like bacon is like my weakness i could eat like 10 slices of it and i probably would um so now there's like a huge thing of bacon in the fridge and like every day i have to like remind myself not to eat all of it because it's mostly for him um but i'm thinking of going keto with him next week so like this week i'll just finish off all the fruits most of the carbs that we have yay carb load and then next week i'll do it with him not because i want to lose weight he wants to lose weight not because i want to lose weight i don't I don't want to lose weight. I just want to do it with him to like encourage him so we can like have it as an activity, like meal prepping together and stuff. So that's what I think I'm going to do. Plus, there's um, a farm next to where um, his dad lives and it's like grass fed, organic, like everything, and they have really good prices. And we used to go there before, but not anymore because we don't go there as much. But, anyways, I think that what we're going to do is like if we're both doing keto, like once a month, we'll go and spend like $200 on our meat and just like freeze it, which reminds me we actually probably will need to buy a freezer if we want to buy that much meat and like produce and stuff all at once guys i don't know i really am into like this once a month grocery shopping thing i really wish i could do it or at least once every two weeks so i don't have to keep going back to the store and spending more but it's really hard i've been watching so many like families that do it and it's doable just that our freezer is like not big at all like this is our freezer and it's literally full like to the brim i wanted to show you guys this actually i got this salmon at walmart it was a piece like this i mean it's a pretty decent sized piece it was 97 cents one dollar and it's smoky maple pink salmon portion obviously not the cleanest ingredients if i just want to eat something quick nice piece of salmon one dollar bam done so I was pretty stoked about that. Okay, I've been talking so much. It's good I haven't vlogged in so long. There's been so much to update you guys about. That was my rant. I'm going to do some dishes because my coffee's still too hot to drink. I'm going to put the music on. All right, guys, dishes are done. And I think I'm actually just going to sit here in the kitchen while I do my work because the light in here is, like, really nice. I mean, it would have been nice earlier in the day, but there's more light on this side of the apartment than the other side. And so I think I'm just going to sit here and do my work here because you guys know I love light. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Alright guys, so it's now 11 o'clock and I'm gonna have a little bit of a breakfast slash brunch But I mean it's more breakfast and it's very small So I'm just having a whole boiled egg with one of those little egg quiches, I guess and then a little bit of chicken so I'm not really a breakfast person and I don't know I don't feel like eating bread or anything or toast and I feel like I really want to try one of these little quiches and I was craving that chicken so that's what I'm gonna have and I'm currently watching just some YouTube videos and finishing my coffee and I finished sending in those emails which I'm super happy about because I've been procrastinating doing that so yeah also guys before I forget I've been wanting to share this with you guys for so long I received these like I think end of November beginning of December but I haven't vlogged since so I haven't been able to share them with you guys but now I finally can so I wanted to share these amazing these are phone loops and basically this is what they, they look like as you can tell I've had mine on for some time so it's like a little bit washed off but it just says but first coffee so basically you like stick it in your phone case and it's super super sturdy it's like literally 
I even moved this and it hasn't like budged since and so that way when you're holding your phone It's kind of like a pop socket, but it's better because you hold it like this and then when you put your phone down It's flat. It's not like at an angle like with a pop socket. So I absolutely love 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 this I gave one to Kira for Christmas. I gave one at my um, Work like Christmas party for a gift exchange. I gave one to another friend and I think they sent me like Five. I have this one and then I have one Christmas one yet that I wanted to use for Christmas But then I didn't want to waste this one because I love it so much I think I'll use it for Christmas next year Anyways, I think they're about five dollars on the website, which is super inexpensive and they're just honestly guys My life has changed like genuinely. I love this so much I don't drop my phone on my face anymore And it's just whenever I'm walking down the street or if I'm just holding my phone sitting somewhere It's so 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 much easier to hold it like this. So Definitely recommend you check those out. I'll have them linked down below. Sorry it took me so long to talk to you guys about it, but now I am, so that's great. Um, so little update, it is now 11.30. I believe I'm going to meet Kira at work at 1.30, and then we're gonna go to school together so we can chit chat and gossip. And what else, what else, what else? I'm meeting someone tonight because I'm selling some things on Facebook, so I'm meeting someone tonight for that, and yeah. That's pretty much it. I have like three really, really good um, video ideas for you guys. I have one with nursing hacks, with I, which I think every nurse should know. I have one which is, I have a budgeting video that I'm definitely gonna do for you guys. And then I have one that I came up with last night, which is how nurses can save money. So it's five simple tips that every nurse should know to save a couple dollars, a couple dozens of dollars every month. And yeah, I'm really excited. I think I'm gonna film all three tomorrow, which I know is really ambitious, but I think I can do it. I think I can do it. And I think I might start editing this video now, actually. All right, guys, so it's now 12.45, and I actually didn't realize how late it was and how I actually kind of need to hurry up a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup, get dressed, pack some food, pack my bag, and obviously I'll show all of that to you guys. And then Kira is leaving her house now, and she's gonna come pick me up at the corner of my street in about like 45 minutes. So I have like 45 minutes to do all that, which seems pretty doable. All right, guys, so my makeup's done. I'm all dressed. I'm wearing this flannel from Urban Outfit that I got like honestly probably six years ago. It's a men's size, but I got an extra small. I really liked it. It's just blue and green. And then I'm wearing my Lululemon leggings and then I'll just wear my winter boots. So that's pretty much what I'm gonna wear. For lunch, I'm gonna bring one of these salads. I actually just love meal prepping. It's just there, it's ready to go, it's amazing. And a special treat that I'm bringing for myself for the first day of school. So I purchased three of these kombuchas, which I know are not that great for you, even though you think they are. They're full of sugar. I know it's I know it's like 18 grams of sugar for a bottle. I know, it's not good. I know. But I don't know if you guys know about the what's it called? Cattle um app. So you can like get cash back for things. And I had two dollars cash back, so instead of four dollars, these only cost me two dollars. And I like having these on night shift because there's just something fresh to have. They keep me awake. Um, probably because of the sugar and just because it's like fresh and so I bought these for night shift but I figured I'd take one to school today just to you know to treat myself for the first day of school so I'm gonna have this with my salad and then I'll probably bring like an apple or something and I should probably have a bit more protein but maybe I'll bring like a hard-boiled egg although that will smell so I don't know I'll figure something out and then I'm just gonna put it in this old lunch bag that I have all right so I decided on bringing the rest of these blackberries um, because they're about to go bad and I need to eat them So I'm just gonna bring this and then I'm gonna bring one hard-boiled egg in a little container So in my bag, this is the bag I'm using. It's from forever 21 I showed it last semester. It's this huge. Let me show you guys huge brown tote bag I love it so much. It fits so much stuff in here. So first thing I'm gonna add in Let me just put you guys down. So first thing I'm gonna add in First thing is my laptop. I'm just gonna pop it in here then I have my bullet journal to write down due dates and such, and I have a pen in here. I have some mittens in case it's cold. Um, I have, all right, so this is, let me put my bag down so I can show you guys. This is actually what I'm going to sell later. It's like a baby, um, like a carry-on, like this. My stepson is too old for this. He's a year and a half, so I'm just gonna sell it. Um, and so I'm just gonna put it in a bag so it doesn't get dirty. I just cleaned it and everything. 
and then add that to my bag. And the reason I'm bringing it to school with me is because I'm meeting the lady like right after school on my way home. So I'm just gonna bring that with me. And then last but not least, I have two gifts for Kira because I haven't seen her since Christmas. So I'm gonna pop those in my bag and give it, them to her when I see her. And then, what else? I'm not, bring, I'm not gonna bring my laptop charger because I don't think I'm gonna use it very much. But then my lunch, I'm gonna bring on the side because it's very heavy. And there you have it. What's in my bag? First day of the semester, y'all. Oh, forgot my pen. And I totally recommend if you guys are looking to sell things online, like whether it be clothes or old things you have around the house. I've been kind of low on cash. Not really, but like just, you know, living paycheck to paycheck. And one of those things that I find really helps is selling old things. Not old things, but like things that I don't need anymore. So I've been cleaning out my closet. Things like the baby carrier, you know, just simple things that you don't need anymore and that you can sell for like five, ten, fifteen dollars. But if you sell ten of them, it really does add up and it can pay for your groceries for a week or two. So I find that's one really good thing to do if you're, you you want to make a little extra cash. Like the baby carrier I'm selling for I think ten bucks. I just put up a shirt for fifteen bucks, another like little kimono thing for ten bucks, just a couple little things, and it's very, very rare. There's only like a handful of items that don't sell. And if they don't, it's because either it's not the right season or it's for a particular reason. So I I've been able to sell like so many things online. I probably made like $500 this year selling things online, if not more. So definitely recommend you guys do that if you want to make a bit more money. All right guys, so Kira just texted me that she is here in like a minute. So I'm going to go. I'm not going to bring my camera because I don't want to lose it or break it. I'm going to vlog on my phone if I do. But if not, I'll see you guys tonight. Bye.